Hey guys, it's the Game of Get 15 here, and I have a new chair. So the first piece of news for today, Minecraft has actually topped 3 million sales on Xbox Live Arcade, according to Notch. Now, this is pretty awesome. It's actually not the first uh, record they've hit since going on the Xbox. Within the first week, they already sold a million, which beats any title ever sold on Xbox Live Arcade. It's really nice to see small developers create such an amazing game with such a large community that can break records like this. I think at one point it was being played more than Black Ops was being played. And now that's something. So hopefully Mojang in the future will create some more awesome games like Minecraft that will sell a lot and have a community driven audience like it has right now. The second piece of news for today is that Rockstar unfortunately will not be appearing at this year's Gamescom. I know I'm sad about it. I really want to see GTA 5 and so did a lot of people. It was heavily speculated before this was announced because there was a trailer out for a Gamescom, an official Gamescom trailer, and it actually showed footage from GTA 5. So everyone was like, yes, we're going to get an announcement at the Gamescom, but no, apparently we are not. Franco Fisher, one of the main community guys at Gamescom, said that it was an accident that the footage was put in there and a bit sorry about that. You know, we'll get it right. Sorry. <laughs> His actual quote was, Rockstar Games is not scheduled and has never been scheduled to exhibit at Gamescom 2012. And he sends his apologies. Well, there we go. If you had your hopes up, then sorry to break that one for you. Uh, I'm a bit sad as well. Hopefully, E3 next year we'll see something. Or before then. I hope we see something online before then, because this is just ridiculous. We all want to know when it's going to be released. We all want to know more about it. So stop teasing us, uh, Rockstar. Please, just give us something. So the final piece of news for today is about Microsoft hitting new records with the Xbox 360. Now, there's a lot of figures here I have to read out, so I will literally read them out because I've tried to remember them all, but I just keep messing it up. So I'd rather get the figures right and read it than not read and get the figures all wrong for you guys. So, they've announced a record quarterly revenue of $18.06 billion for the quarter ended June 30th, 2012. Its entertainment and device divisions revenue increased by $292 million, or 20%. This was thanks to the acquisition of Skype. So that's made them a pretty large income for making Skype. Um, the firm sold 1.1 million Xbox consoles during the quarter, and Xbox Live memberships increased by 15% year on year. So it's continued to increase every single year. Xbox has dominated the hardware sales for 18 consecutive months. So this is a hell of a lot of figures. This is really good for Microsoft. It, when they start making their new consoles, this is what they're going to need to be thinking about. You know, they've got all this money behind them, all this audience behind them. They need to make the next console really good to keep this up, or who knows, Sony might win it. So I could say the Wii U might win it, but I did have a bit of a thing about the Wii U, and it, they just haven't convinced me at this point that they could win it. So maybe in the future they might convince me about it, but yet, as of yet, I'm not convinced. However, there is a downside now. Also post its first net loss of 492 million for the first time since joining the stock market in 1986. Operating income and loss per share for the quarter were 192 million and 0 0.06 per share. So there's a lot of good stuff, but there was also a little bit of dip to start off with, but they seem to be pulling it back up with these latest figures. So, they seem to be doing alright, even though they did take a bit of a hit, as it said here, for the first time since 1986, which is quite a considerable stretch of time. So, that's it for today. Don't forget, you can read those three news posts down below in the description. There are links right there. And apologies that I've only done three today, and that's mainly because I know it's going to sound a bit of a pathetic excuse, but I do have a really bad cough. So, me getting any amount of talking done without bursting into a coughing fit is a real struggle at the minute. So I didn't want to do too much, didn't want to overdo myself so that I can't do, you know, any commentaries or anything uh, within the next couple of days. So hopefully you understand. And I have decided on, I'm going to do this a different way from next week onwards, rather than doing three episodes a week, because I know I won't be able to keep it up forever. I do have other responsibilities. I will be doing it now every Friday, and I'll just be doing a complete roundup of the week so far. So... Hopefully that sounds good. If you like that, don't forget to give this video a like. If you'd enjoy watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to see more from me. And if you have any feedback or opinions on any of the news topics today, don't forget to put a comment below. So I'll see you next Friday. Goodbye.